Hello and well, welcome back for another video. It's been a while since the last video. It's been somewhat a little lot busy at work. So nevertheless, I'm here now. Okay, we're gonna talk about slice coverage. How do you know whenever you are going from three millimeter to four millimeter and covering the same anatomy slices? Stick around and I will show. For those who don't know me, I'm back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering to wait. So today, I'm going to show you a tool where it's very helpful to know exactly the same coverage, even though you have different slice thickness from one sequences to another sequence. Let's go to the scanner and I'll show you. All right, what you see in front of you here is actually a platform. It doesn't matter if you have the newer, old, it will be the same. The same tool is there, just going to show you how. So you can see it is a statutory coverage of the head, just to ease it for showing you. So let's try here. Let's open this T2. You can see this T2 is uh, having 45 slices and it's three millimeter slice thickness, right? Let's go for the next one. And this diffusion is, I did it on purpose just to show you, I have 34 slices, but four millimeter. But nevertheless, it covers the same coverage from the top to the bottom of the anatomy. But how do I know that? Okay. Let's open the T2 again. You can see, if you move your mouse over the slice thickness there, you can see it says slice group thickness 135 millimeter. Okay. That's a very helpful tool. That's the tool I'm talking about. So let's open the diffusion again. So we can compare head to head. So this is the diffusion. 34 slices per millimeter hoover over that. So it, earlier I said it was 135 millimeter, right? Now it's 136, it's almost the same, but you can do a little bit modification with the distance factor if you can do so, just to get the same coverages. But you cannot use the uh, diffusion with 45 slices because it's four millimeters, so it would take, it would coverage much, much more and you only waste uh, a lot of scan time, a lot of coverages. So 34 slices, four millimeter is the same coverages as in the 45 slices, uh, three millimeter on a T2. So just hover the mouse over here and you can see it's a very helpful tool, not only for a newer imaging, it, for every sequence is when it comes to, uh, and for the whole body. But that's it guys, I hope you find this video valuable. Even though it's a very helpful tool, I use it every day just to know that I have the same coverage from one sequences to another sequence. Of course, you will try to have the same slice thickness from one sequence to another sequence. So then it's not possible, but sometimes it's not possible. So you try to have the same coverage. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Do you use this tool every time you are optimizing a sequence? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will get a ding ding whenever I'm posting a new video. Until next time, take care and like. That's a cute piece of.